Hey, what's up guys? Um, I just wanted to give you a full tour of my Altoids game console thing that I made. Um, it was a really tough project uh, to fit all that stuff in an Altoids case. It's really not that big. Um, and to be honest, it doesn't even shut all the way. Um, and I'll get into why that is a little bit later. But um, I wanted to give a major shout out to uh, Wear Me. Um, or Wormy, whatever he prefers that he's called. Uh, he really inspired me to do this project. He made one uh, very similar to this one, um, and I thought that was like really cool, and so I wanted to make my own. And uh, I used a little bit of different ideas, and I'll, I'll go into that maybe a little bit later. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, first of all, you might notice that I have a lid on the bottom. And uh, basically, when I was doing this, the uh, battery I wanted to use was pretty large, and um, I didn't have enough space to really fit it in here, so what I did was I took a lid from another Altoids case, and I kind of just kind of stacked it under, and the, the battery f fit in right there. It was a little wide, um, so it fits in there, and the, it goes inside uh, the other Altoids case, and I kind of just like glued it on top. Um, over here I have a USB charging port and so it charges the battery that's underneath here and that works really great. I have an on and off switch um, and that's about it. And now uh, I'm going to open it up. Uh, I have a speaker and I wanted a bigger screen. Uh, this is a 1.5 inch uh, display but uh, I wanted a bigger one but they, they didn't have any in stock when I went to buy them. Um, but this display works pretty well. Some of the stuff is kind of hard to read, but uh, I mean, it might look a little weird on the camera, but it, it works really well with some of the other games. Uh, Mario plays great, um, but some of the stuff with really tiny font is, is it's a little bit of a, you gotta quint, uh, squint your eyes to really get it. And this is one of the main reasons uh, why it doesn't shut all the way. Um, on Wermy's build, which I think is really awesome, uh, it looked like it was his uh, SD card reader on the Pi, which is the computer that's in here, was underneath the controller board. Um, so you couldn't really get to it without taking the controller board out. That's what it looked like to me, at least. So I found this up at Micro Center. It's a little SD card reader adapter, and I wired that up to the, to the test pads on the Pi, and I just kind of moved it up here, so now I can just get to my... SD card whenever I want to and it's kind of out of the way of gameplay so uh, I don't mind it being there and you know like when it when it gets to like that close to being shut it's it's really not a big deal to me um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and uh, we'll boot this up um, anyway uh, the controller board I made out of a perma proto um, props to Adafruit for having tutorials on making uh, controllers um, and uh, they uh, they work really well. I like the buttons. They they click and they feel pretty good. Uh, I got a D-pad here that works really well. Um, as you can see here, uh, the Nintendo logo kind of goes across. It's a splash screen I made, and it's it's just basically indicating that you know it's loading. Usually you'd see a lot of like script, or you'd see just a picture of RetroPie or Emulation Station on here, but I decided to make my own and put it on here. I haven't got the audio to work on it yet. There's supposed to be some kind of catchy Nintendo tune playing while that's going on, but uh, I got that to work and I was pretty stoked about that. Um, so when that gets all the way across, it'll zoom back and then Emulation Station is pretty much loaded. 